Hello and welcome to another short tutorial on uh, Omnisphere. What we're going to look at today are two separate things. Um, sort of like help with patch design. Sometimes you try to make your own sound and it just nothing seems to work. It's, it does sounds flat and uh, doesn't going to fit in with what you're trying to do. So to get a bit of uh, a creativity back and get those creative choices, choices flowing, um, there's a few tricks you can use. So the first one we've got is um, sound match. So pick a compl complete patch at random to make sure it's random. We'll click that second button in that randomizes the list. And we'll go to the top. I don't do a spreeze or spreeze. Well, I know this is going to be a wonderful pad sound because I use it quite a lot. Just so happens to be the random patch. So what we do now is go to sound match. What it does, it takes all those settings, Fredagio Expressivo, and lists in order the patches that sound similar and share characteristics. So if we go to Cathedral String Orchestra, it's very close to the first patch. But the further down we go, the further away it gets from the original patch. Difficult one. The further down that list you go, the further away you get from this. So, it's a quick way of locating a patch to start with, um, to help you on your creative journey. And then you can tweak it to whatever you would like it to sound like. Next thing, we'll keep with Adagio Expressivo, and we'll go back to the Attributes page. Now, what you can do now, this, this is really, really clever is you can lock in all these parameters that uh, are sort of for, for this particular sound and apply it to another patch. So what I'm getting at here is if we lock all those in and then we go for an arpeggiator this to really demonstrate goals, Blade Razor we'll see. So you applied all the settings from Adagio Expressivo to Blade Razor. Now, Blade Razor actually sounds like this when he decides to clear all. Remember, if you're going to do that, just make sure you click clear all, otherwise it'll just sound the same. So that's what Blade Razor actually sounds like. So, what you can do then, if we go back to, uh, don't know if it, it'll still be at the top. No, it won't be. It randomizes every time we change it. So we go to Adagio Expressivo again. So we have that again, and we'll go for um, synth long. Clear the text. I know what I've got to do. Got to lock those parameters in. So we go Adagio Expressivo again. Lock all. Clear your text. And we'll go for Synth Long or Firebrand. We got a nice fizzy pad now. But that patch actually sounds like this. So let's do the inverse of that. Let's lock all the parameters in. And we go and play that with synth poly something like this. But it actually sounds like this. So 
So here you go, some quick and easy tips on creating your own sound. I hope you found the short tutorial useful. And in comparison to the other two tutorials I've put on, this, this is quite short for me. If you enjoyed it, by all means, uh, click on the bell icon above and you'll be notified of next time I upload something. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out my website, www.biodire.com. And uh, I'll see you next time.